Hey there, my name is Andrew. I'm the developer advocate at Mattermost. And today I'm gonna to be talking about the Mattermost AI framework repository, which is a proof of concept to allow you to learn how Mattermost, a local uh, communication and collaboration platform can communicate with a AI bot, whether that's a local or a remote AI agent. Mattermost could be the platform for which that communication occurs. And today we're gonna to look at a proof of concept example um, that you can see uh, a local, uh, AI bot communicating in Mattermost with the user. It can be deployed in Gitpod if it's a really quick um, and simple in the browser demo. In fact, I did that just before starting and we're going to look at that first. Um, you can also install it locally. That way you can have a local Mattermost server with a local AI agent, a local AI bot that it can communicate with uh, to ask it questions, um, even do um, actions like summarizing a thread. Um, and so to dive in, let's look at a Git pod that's opened up this uh, repository. Um, it's pulled in all of the uh, parts of this that we need. So we're using Mattermost. Uh, we're using the Mattermost um, AI um, app that was written for the purpose of this demo. And we're using Surge, uh, which is the model provider. It is the API that Mattermost communicates with to talk to the local model. Another thing we needed to do was install a model onto Surge for Mattermost to communicate with. In this case, I chose GPT for all. I've already installed it, it's downloaded here. And then in Mattermost, I can now ask questions to an AI app bot that can communicate with this model. So I can use the slash command AI ask, why is open source important? And it's going to think on that question the model is and provide a response back to me. And here's our response back from the bot that we asked the question to on Gitpod. So now to get started, let's install this locally. You're going to want to clone this repository um, and enter it within your uh, your own local environment, which I've done so here in VS Code. Um, the next thing we're gonna do is bring up the containers. The containers are where everything is happening for this demo. So for example, we can look at this Docker Compose while that's happening. We have the Mattermost AI um, uh, app, which is coming online. We have the uh, Mattermost uh, server itself coming online. We have Surge um, and the database for Mattermost to communicate with. So all of those are coming online with Docker Compose up. And from there, the next thing that we need to do is download a Surge model. Downloading a Surge model means that on the LLM provider that's now local on your machine, we need to download something for it to talk to locally. In my case, before starting this recording, I went ahead and downloaded GPT for all in the same repository, so it's here. But in this case, you would click download so you'd be able to communicate with it. Once it's downloaded, the next thing that you can move on to is actually um, sending a question to, um, or rather installing the um, AI bot. So we're gonna do that with another slash command uh, by doing slash apps install with the URL to the local AI bot that's now online with this Docker Compose. So back in my channel, we're going to actually open localhost and we're going to create our account this isn't connected to email, so you can use any email in this case. We're just creating an account to try this out on our own local Mattermost. And now that I have an account, I can use the slash command to install the app. If for some reason you get an error like this about unable to communicate with the app, it's possible that your app bot is not online. Um, there's an easy Docker restart command that you can copy paste from the repository just to make sure that the, the actual Docker image that we're talking to is online. Um, and so once I do that, I can hit enter here. It's gonna need to think and talk to the AI uh, uh, bot, uh, app bot for just a moment. And then once it gets a reply, I'll get a pop-up modal. So here is uh, the permissions modal for installing the local AI um, app on Mattermost. We're gonna click agree and click submit. And that's going to finalize the installation process. The only other thing we need to do here is just give the actual app bot permissions to look um, at messages and channels. That way it has the ability to summarize things um, via that channel action. Um, and, and so we can go back up here to integrations, go to bot accounts, go to the AI bot, and go to edit. We're going to uh, allow it to read posts and channels and click update. And now it can summarize things as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and start a conversation here with the um, AI app, and I'm gonna ask it the same question. AI ask, why is open source important? 
So this is just like the demo that we ran um, that I had running in Gitpod. It's going to ask the question to the local agent. So again, we're all in localhost um, in this case. I've now taken this repository, put it on my own machine. I have a chat uh, platform where I'm communicating with the bot um, and I'm able to ask it questions. And once I get a response and there's content in this channel, I'll have a channel action as well where I can ask the bot to summarize its response um, or anything else that's being posted in a channel. So this is a one example of how you can use um, AI with Mattermost um, as you're tinkering with this new um, idea, this new technology. There's lots of different um, abilities and touch points that, that we can explore here. It's quite exciting. So we've released the Mattermost AI Framework Repository as an example um, of an open source communication tool that you can run locally on your own machine to that end. And we're really excited to see what kind of things people create with it, what comes out of this new kind of technology. And so here is my reply from why it's open source important. And just like before as well, I can uh, ask it to summarize um, that and I'm going to get a summarization of the, what it had replied to me. And that's an example of running Mattermost with AI locally on your own machine. So to get started, just come to the Mattermost AI framework repository and be sure to join the AI Exchange channel on our Mattermost community server, as well as check out our peer-to-peer -peer forums. I'll provide links to these below. That way you have a place to join our community and get involved in the conversation. And we look forward to seeing what you make. And as always, thanks for watching.